Coming off the low fat era of the late yep. 90s, the zone diet felt like um, the best thing ever because it was like, oh, you know, you can enjoy some fats and wow, your satiety is improved and um, you get stronger. You just feel better when you're ingesting some ideally quality fats. That's yes. my experience. Yes. Anyway. And also we know yeah. that it influences hormonal status. Mm -hmm. You don't want to push uh, fats too low. So the second group had a 40-30-30 split. So it was 40 grams of carbohydrates, 30 grams of protein, 30 grams or 30% 30 fat. So these are all percentages. Yeah, 40, 30, 40 yes. percent. Now, right. we didn't talk so much about the distribution, but what is really important to understand is they were isocaloric. So they both had the same calories. The difference was the percentage of where the calories came from and how they were given. Um, and there was actually four different arms to this. So there was individuals that exercised and individuals that didn't. Okay. So either zone diet or let's call it, I hate to say this, but more standard no, it was. American no, and diet. And that's how it was designed. Standard American versus zone diet. Yes. So it was designed um, that way. And then exercising or non-exercising for, for each of the- For this 12-month uh, study. Okay. Um, and by the way, I had to, to pack a bunch of meals. It was not pretty and I had to do urine analysis. It was terrible. Um, but anyway, this is besides the point. 